I'm Jay Deer. I've been on top of Utah's real estate market for over 10 years. I will show you things about this market that you never knew. So not everything we do is buy and sell houses. This week I got a call from Bob and he wants to talk about redoing his deck on the back of his house. Well, the whole idea of the uh, structure that I'm trying to get built here is uh, was first necessity. Last uh, spring I looked out the window and the deck was starting to sag a little bit. So then I calculated how many years had been there like I say, about 32, 33 years. And I knew it was time to replace it. So I started in with a design. And of course, like many projects, the design grew a little bit. Uh, ended up with that covered portion, which I thought would be nice. To, because I have a west-facing deck on the back of the house. So uh, I figured a little bit of covering would be good for it. Uh, I do like to sit out on the deck. I enjoy a deck, and uh, I look forward to getting this done. And I told people that even if it's finished in the first blizzard, I'm going to be out there in a hammock enjoying it. So I really look forward to this. So what can I do for you? What are you looking for from us? Well, you, I think you know from taking a quick look that I've got a real replacement need. The old deck is just literally collapsing. Okay. And uh, so that's the first order of business is replacing it. All right, so you need a new deck. What do you, what do you want to use on your new, what are you going to use your new deck for? Well, what I really want to do is just hang out there and relax. I also think that uh, maybe I want to add a covered area to it. Now that would be a total new addition to what I have. All right, so you want to add a, a covered structure in addition to the deck? Yes. Okay. Yes. More of like a pavilion or a pergola? or I think a pavilion is, okay. is what I really would prefer. There will be people coming over at different times. and. Uh, so that's a factor, but the principal factor is just to relax back there. All right, I just got done speaking with Bob over about his project, and I think we've got a pretty good idea of where we're going to start, and, and we're excited to see what we can uh, come up with. Um, we have a design manager that comes out uh, on site. They get the drawings, uh, they measure it up on site to bring it back to the shop. We then have our architects are able to put it into our 3D program. And uh, once they get it up, they're able to um, find out if there's any uh, defects in the drawings, uh, make sure everything's going to work out properly, the dimensions wise, and uh, also give a color uh, 3D rendering for the homeowner or the client to uh, approve. Um, once it's approved, then we're able to convert these into shop drawings. And from here, then it goes out to our uh, manufacturing facility. So this is where Western Timber Frame has really been able to set themselves apart by going out and measuring it, putting on the computer, then they can build it inside their shop instead of having to transport all the equipment and product out to the site and trying to do it there. This has become a revolutionary way of doing this. All right, we finished with Bob's design and we're ready to get started. While Western Timber is working on that, right after the break, we're gonna talk with Cindy, who wants to talk about credit restoration so she can get out of renting.
someone dropping the ball on your mortgage? Recruiter professional, Darren Rhodes, Utah's mortgage pro. He's got the skills, speed, and experience to win the best financing for your home. So draft Darren today at utahmortgagepro.com. Jay Deer here. Are you thinking about buying a home? Well, I'm sure you know as a buyer, you don't pay anything for real estate commissions, but get this. Work with the Jay Deer real estate team and you get a full moving package from Wasatch Moving Company. You get free carpet cleaning, a free year of direct TV, and a free appraisal. Go to our website, which is jdeer.com. We've got a full list of all the houses available in Utah. And remember, we're never too busy for one of your referrals. Never sold a house before. I'll walk you guys through every step. There's a lot of buyers for a house like yours. It's good to know. Cindy and Draper wants to know, we're looking to buy a home and our credit isn't so hot. We have great income though and not much debt. The credit thing is really holding us back. What options are available for people like us? We are sick and tired of paying rent. That's a great question, Cindy. Let's go to our credit uh, specialist, which is Ike, and see what he's got to say. Hey Jay, what's going on? You know, it's funny that you say that. Uh, I hear that all the time. Uh, you know, think about it this way. If you have $10 million in your bank account, and you're logging in every day to make sure that you still have your money. But if you're broke and you have no money at all, then you'd never want to check it. You never want to look at the negative balance. And kind of the same thing applies to credit scores. When people feel they have bad credit scores or low credit scores, they never want to look at it. They never want to pay attention to it. And, and oftentimes I see clients who think they have to have perfect credit scores to be able to get into a home. And that simply is not true. You know, lots of programs out there that pay attention to you with scores as low as 620 and 640, including uh, FHA programs as well. So if a client comes to us and they have a 580 or 590 and they're 20, 30 points away from living the American dream, the first thing you want to do is look at their credit and make sure that uh, uh, everything that's on there is accurate and has earned the right to be there. And so, you know, it's really, really important for people to be paying attention to that detail, but it's just absolutely not the case that you have to have a perfect credit score uh, uh, to get into a home. Now, of course, uh, those are the requirements right now, you know, 620, uh, but as such, those requirements can change in the future. Uh, we don't know what's going to be. Maybe the, uh, the federal government uh, lending uh, parameters uh, just change and they become higher, but uh, for those that... Uh, uh, have less than perfect credit scores, this is certainly a great time to be taking a look at your credit and getting into a home. Does that help? Yeah. Great. Thanks, Ike. That's perfect. Great. Well, just call me if you have any questions. That's what we're here to do. We're here to help. It's good to talk to you, my friend. Good to talk to you, too. All right. We'll talk to you later. So we're continuing our look at the Utah County Parade of Homes, and I'm here with McCord with Michael Perry Construction. Thanks very much for coming on the show. Thanks for having me. So uh, tell me about a little bit of what you guys created here. Um, so as a custom home builder, we specialize um, in custom homes. So the client came to us and wanted a, kind of a country French exterior mm -hmm. with kind of a modern contemporary interior. Great, yeah, they did a really nice job. Okay, so heading on into the inside here, tell me a little bit, what are your favorite parts of this home? Um, one of the main things that people, when the, as they walk through, was the floor. Um, it's actually a ceramic tile, but it, it is made to look like wood. So people would come in and look at the floor and ask me what type of wood it was, when in fact it's, it's just a ceramic tile. Wow, that's cool. And so that helps obviously the wear, I assume? Yeah, the wear and um, just durability, so. Okay, tell me a little bit how they position the house on the lot. Um, the, the lot is, was at, at a, a slope, so we utilize that um, by putting the pool at the base and then tearing up the backyard um, and then putting the house up on the top. So when you look out the back windows, you just see uh, basically, the fact all the way off on. Alpine Valley, yeah. Okay, so tell me a little bit about your kitchen here. 
The kitchen is uh, custom cabinets with uh, Caesar stone countertops. Um, we used the hidden door to lead into the pantry, which had the microwave, the extra sink as a prep area, along with the pantry, so. Yeah, now Caesar stone has become very popular. Explain what that is, because I don't think a lot of people understand. Caesar stone is actually a type of quartz, which is a man-made product. Um, it's as hard as granite and as durable as granite, but without the porousness, so you can actually keep keep it longer, yeah. the polish. So that kind doesn't. of polished look to it. Yeah, the polished look to it and more durable. Yeah. Okay, so tell me a little bit about the floor plan that you guys did here. It was pretty uh, creative because you had the master bedroom on the main floor and uh, the office upstairs, then they put pretty much everything down in the basement, right? Yeah, so the, so they wanted, you know, kind of split, split the bedrooms up. Um, so we did put the master on the main floor, um, put a washer and dryer in their closet mm -hmm. so that they didn't have to pack all their clothes downstairs. Um, so tell me a little bit about this basement, how you guys did this exposed uh, uh, duct work. Okay, so into the basement, um, you have a theater room and a full second kitchen, um, a playroom, and then the kids' bedrooms along with the laundry room. Really interesting floor here. So this is a concrete floor, right? It is, yeah. It's a polished concrete. So we had to take care of it throughout the construction phase. So Because you pour, you got to pour pretty straight, right? Right. How do you protect it? What do you guys have to do? Um, mainly just keep the subcontractors in line and make sure that they're not beating it up with their tools and stuff. Mm -hmm. And so tell me a little bit about that Xbox room. I noticed you had like a concrete room. What is that all about? Um, that's actually underneath the garage floor. It's just underneath the suspended slab. Um, yeah, it has the Xbox room in the front and then out through the back, there's a garden shed that they utilize the, the space underneath their garage. Mm -hmm. Now I like how they, they actually move the office up above everything, so it's almost in the loft area, right? Yeah, it is a bonus room um, up in the trusses, so they utilize their space above their garage the other garage to uh, put the office upstairs. Mm -hmm. And the cool thing about that office is it actually has original Marriott Center flooring. He played basketball for BYU, so oh, really? he got some uh, of the original wood flooring from the Marriott Center. Well, that's kind of cool. So uh, really nice uh, yard work here, pool in the backyard, of course. So, very nice job on this house. So, McCord, if somebody wanted to reach you and talk to you about this home, what you built, how would they contact you? They can go to our website, which is michaeldperry.com, or they can email at mccord at michaeldperry.com. Great. Well, thanks so much for coming on. Thank you. Hi, I'm Eric from Salt City Heating and Air Conditioning, and today we're going to talk a little bit about thermostats. Now, thermostats have come a long way from what they used to be. The modern day thermostats will go anywhere from a basic programmable digital stat to a full Wi Fi enabled thermostat that you can control from your phone and control a host of other features that it can enable for you. Now, these are just a couple of examples of the thermostats that are available today. There is a wide array of thermostats available to suit whatever an individual's needs are in their home. So this is just a very small amount of what is available. Right here we have, this is our tried and true. This is honestly our favorite thermostat for a basic installation. These are a five two day programmable stats. So they'll program Monday through Friday on one schedule and then you get Saturday, Sunday, your weekend on another schedule. These are about bulletproof. Honestly, we've never even had to change one of these out on a warranty. Uh, fantastic, simple, basic digital design. We love these ones. But a lot of people nowadays are getting more technologically advanced with their thermostats. And what we have right here is this is probably the most economic version of a Wi-Fi thermostat. What this one allows you to do is control it with your smartphone so you can control it when you're not even at home. It takes care of everything, your AC, your furnace, you can turn your fan on and off, everything like that. If you leave the house on vacation, you're 50 miles from home, you forget to turn the thermostat off, you can take care of it all from your phone. There are a lot of options for thermostats available out there. For example, at my house, I've got a full color touchscreen thermostat, Wi-Fi enabled, reads peak wattage for the power company so it knows when to shut the cooling down a little bit, save me some money. 
more options available than you can think of. If you know of a thermostat you're interested in, or if you just need more information, call your local experts today. They're sure to guide you in the right direction. Hey, Jared, how's it going? Oh, hey, Brian. How you doing, man? Good. Guess what? I'm glad you stopped by. Let me show you this. All right. Uh, the city says that we have all of our joists have to be treated and the okay. stair risers. And okay. everything out there isn't. So we're going to need to get some and as soon as possible. Okay. All right. When, now, when are you going to, when do you need that? What's the time frame? Probably as soon as you can. Today would be the best. Okay. I bet we could get some of it up today. I'll make some, I'll make some phone calls and get that uh, resolved as soon as possible. All right. Cool, man. Okay. Cool, cool. So the lumber company sent us some regular uh, 2x10 rafters. They actually need to be treated. So we're gonna, we loaded it up on the trailer. We're gonna bring it down and get it swapped out and bring some treated up tomorrow morning. hard and no one likes to do it. It should be an adventure and we here at Wasatch Moving Company make it one. We are that extra bit of help that everyone needs. Let us take the stress out of moving for you with our excellent and careful staff and our flat rate affordable pricing. Call Wasatch Moving Company today, the official movers of Real Estate Essentials with Jay Deer on ABC. Electric, serving you 24 hours a day. Our clients often come to us as some of the more difficult and challenging moments in their lives. They are reassured to learn that we uphold the highest levels of confidentiality, privacy, and integrity. We believe in earning their trust, and our goal is to help build their financial confidence. Our mantra is simple, change your credit, change your life. never sold a house before. I'll walk you guys through every step. There's a lot of buyers for a house like yours. It's good to know. A big misconception today in the world of painting is the concept of primers, when to use them, paints with primers in them. Big box stores have given consumers the idea that primer is necessary whenever they're painting, and really that's just not simply true. Uh, even when painting over dark colors, typically a good paint will eliminate the need for a primer. We as contractors usually only use primers when we're painting over new surfaces, raw drywall, exposed wood, metal, etc. Beyond that, you're really paying for something that you're not getting a lot of added value out of. My recommendation would be to get a good paint, typically from a store that specializes in production of paint exclusively and not big box stores, which will eliminate a lot of the additional cost. Continue our look at some of the hot properties that are for sale right now. We're headed down to Harriman, and I, I really like this property because there's there are ways to build houses and ways not to build houses and this particular one is laid out perfectly where it's south facing it's got a walkout basement with views off the back 
It's a Rambler, which are real popular because the Master's on the main floor, and it's got, which is very rare for Ramblers. They have a big open floor, floor plan in this case with a bonus space above the garage. And so you can go above the garage, and this one's got another uh, three bedrooms and a bath above that. Uh, also, walking off the back of this house, they've got a big deck that looks out over the whole valley, and they've got a walkout basement below that that's set up perfectly for a mother-in-law apartment. And so, those are some of the things that are really popular right now. They've added in a designer kitchen on this one. Those granite countertops, those extra tall cabinets. And kind of interesting on that refrigerator that you see there, they actually, they push the wall back and so the fridge doesn't push into the room, which was very creative in, in thinking this one through. Head into the master bedroom, of course they did vaulted ceilings in here, which is a great way to go. And then the master bath is huge, it's got double closets, uh, huge. The tub is big enough they can fit two people in it. Headed down into the basement, they've set this one up so they can just, uh, a few years ago people were, were doing home theaters where you had like a specific room, but over the last couple years they've gone away from that to more kind of an open area. And so they set this up, they've got the second kitchen, and they can roll that, uh, that island out of the way. So if they want to have like an entertaining, like they're going to watch a movie, they can just move that out of the way or, or bring it up, they're going to have more kind of like an eating area. And there's that beautiful view off the deck. Not only do they have a covered deck here, they've got a covered patio down below. And with that park-like setting in the backyard, and they've added in an outbuilding for extra storage. Great house listed at $424,900. It used to be that credit was used primarily to assess risk, and lower credit scores paid higher rates and with less favorable terms. These days, credit is used in a myriad of ways. Consider employment. Some employers consider low scores to mean less discipline and potential future disloyalty. That's why credit education is more important today than ever before. Well, we've been thinking about it, and we're just not sure. I understand. We've never sold a house before. I'll walk you guys through every step. So if we sell, do you think we can swing it? Well, I have the numbers right here, and based on the comps that I found, the timing is perfect. There's a lot of buyers for a house like yours. It's good to know. I'm so excited. <laughs> Jay Deere here. Do you want to sell your home faster and for more money? We do what other realtors do, but get this. Being ABC4 Utah's real estate specialist gives me the opportunity to give your home maximum exposure. List with the Jay Deere team and your home will be featured on its own TV commercial, as well as get a full motion video tour by my professional camera crew with me personally talking about the selling features of your home linked to the multiple listing service. And with the power of Brookshire Hathaway Home Services, it's automatically added to 40,000 websites and put onto the International Relocation Database. The J. Deere marketing system sells houses faster and for more money. And don't forget about J. Deere's perk package. Each seller gets a moving package from Wasatch Moving Company, a free year of direct TV, and carpet cleaning. The best part of the whole thing is it doesn't cost anything more than a regular agent. If you want to sell your house faster and for more money, then list it with me and see it on TV.
So, Bob, what do you think of this whole thing? Let's start with the feelings. Yes! <laughs> I, uh, I am so pleased. It's pretty incredible. I uh, found working with Western Timber Frame was a good experience. They managed to bring to life what I had in mind, what I wanted to have accomplished. Early on when they first showed up and started working, I stuck my head out the laundry room door over here and I looked out and I saw the timbers and I just said, oh yeah, this is gonna work great. And it did. I'm very happy. Um, it went smoothly for the most part. You know, there's always little bumps, but no big bumps. And uh, I'm quite satisfied with uh, the way everything went. I am happy. out really well for Bob. Now he's going to be able to enjoy some staycations with that beautiful deck.